And we're back. Yeah. Hey, guys. Back to the Dark Souls. What's going on? I communicate by flinging my arm up and down. Yes. So I don't remember how many. I don't remember. How much strength? Yeah, I can't use it yet. Can I use the morning star? Yes, I can. No, you cannot. Yes, I can. It's against the rules. I don't think there's anything else that I need to pick up. Can we actually start the game now? Oh. Have you got, gotten this achievement, Tams? Uh, we're about to find out. I'm talking to this guy. I see you over there, John. <laughs> Damn it, What's going on? I'm, I'm not sure if you got the achievement or not, because we turned off notifications. Uh, um, I'm trying to remember. What, well, what's the achievement for joining? For discovering this covenant. Uh, well, I don't think so, because I, I think I killed him on my playthrough. Okay. Well, Because uh, you, you told me to do something that involved killing him. So. I'm not going to join this covenant. I think I remember what you're talking about. Okay. That was very sp special circumstances. There's no... I mean, there is a reason to kill him. But, I mean... You don't really want to go through the trouble since... You know, he's uh, not, not, not worth our time. So we want to go over here. <laughs> yeah, we gotta go over here. My little voice I'm doing. Just gonna kill these guys with my morning stir. But yes, this is this is the correct way to go, by the way. Uh, the graveyard, which is where I first tried to go my first playthrough, is not... I mean, you can go that way, but it's like everything in there is very high level for this point in the game. So you would probably die. And that's what I did, and I was like, how the fuck am I supposed to do this game? Just, just get out of here. So this is the correct way to go. Yeah, I think it's super interesting, like, how non-linear this whole game is. I know, I love it. But that was too late. I'm just gonna kill him now. Try to parry him, but I don't care anymore. Because that's kind of what I expect. And then I go somewhere, and it's like, well, I can't be here. <laughs> this is too much. <laughs> I don't know. Hey, what's up, guys? Oh, no, 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 I'm out of here. So you can do not happening. you can do a jump if you're sprinting and hit the B button twice. Hopefully, I can pull that off to get that item over there. Cause oh, that that's how you do it. Whoop. Okay. So I always wondered how you did that. This item. It's uh, in my opinion, uh, Dark Souls Two does it a little better because you have the option to either ring of sacrifice will be useful later in the game. Um, because you have the option to either set it to the classic, which is pressing the B button twice. Or you can set it to clicking in the left stick, which is easier in my opinion. So that's uh, the way I like to do it. Because, uh, you know, the B button not always reliable. But now that we have that, we can just get on get on going. Get on with the get down. Yes, that that's one of the things that uh, people didn't like so much about Dark Souls 2. Is that uh, this game is very, uh, very non-linear. And, uh, everything... Okay, great, I'm poisoned. Oh, great. Uh, everything in the world is, in like, interconnected. So there's a lot of, uh, shortcuts and stuff. Mm -hmm. And Dark Souls 2 isn't, uh, isn't like that very much. So people were like, what is this? Wow. Well, do you know if Dark Souls 3 is supposed to be like that? I think it is supposed to be like that. Because, uh, Dark Souls 2 wasn't made by the same guy that made this one. Or it wasn't, like, headed by the same guy. And then, uh... The same guy that did Dark Souls 1 headed, uh, oh, that's my Red Tearstone ring activating, which I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and heal. Um, he made the same, or the same guy that did Dark Souls 1 made Bloodborne, and Bloodborne was a lot like Dark Souls 1 in that regard. So he's also doing Dark Souls 3. So. Nice. Sweet. Hidden path. Have to destroy all those barrels. And there's also a doorway here that I had no idea about for the longest time. There's not... I think the only thing in here is a, is a soul, but, you know, you can go ahead and pick it up. It's, 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 it's always good to... Excuse me? Excuse me, did I ask you to come up here? It's always good to have more sus, am I right? The oh, tasty yeah. souls. Damn it. I think it's the next area. You can, uh... Well, I guess I'll wait so you can see it. Damn it, I knew that was gonna happen! Fucking poison! Why? <laughs> Why? I apologize. What is this? What is this? Hey, look. I can 
probably just run past all the stuff that I just killed anyway. You sure about that? I mean, I believe he might. Can you positive? I mean, I mean, it might cause a little problem, but I think I can do it. Damn it. Excuse me, Chief. Oi, Chiffy. See, there you go. up here so they don't bother me while I'm doing my my secret path. Do my thing. Okay. Alright guys. Alright, I see what you're guys, I see what you're doing here, but can we just turn it down a notch? Take a little sip. Do a little dance. Take a little sip. Get down tonight. Destroy some barrels. Because if you don't fuck barrels. <laughs> fuck barrels, am I right? <laughs> barrels. Like Donkey Kong like throwing them throwing them at us and shit? I know really. Freaking barrels, man. What are we gonna do with those things? Exactly. Alright. Can you, like, go fuck yourself? God. Can you believe these guys are fucking around? <laughs> uh, yep. I mean, look at these guys. It's not a very good ambush. Yeah, I, I don't really. I'll Get out of here. <laughs> you too. Get out of here. I, I, I don't see what you I wish you could knock these guys off too, but. They wake up too early. Can I kill them with one heavy swing? Yes, I can. Look, I found rubbish, you guys. Rubbish! And look at what the description of it is. <laughs> it's like, it's fucking rubbish. Rubbish with no value. Who in their right mind would, would bother carrying this around? Perhaps you should, you, perhaps you need help. <laughs> Alright, game. I, I, You're the one that gave it to me. Jeez, the game is some sass. I know, right? They're just... Dark Souls sassy. is one of the sassiest games. I mean, my other just card call it Dark Sass. I know, right? Dark Sass. Gosh. Dark Sass 3 is coming out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> pre order Dark Sass 3. Shouldn't be Dark Souls 3, get the legendary Sass edition. I'm making my way through the undead burg. No ways. Hey, look, guys. It's a dragon. It's a dragon. Oh, yeah, I'll the dragon. I'll see you in a second, buddy. See you, bro. Oh, yeah, that's like you go across the bridge and then you meet the the sun guy. I don't know what Praising you're talking about. <laughs> I have no idea talking what you're talking about. Talking some nonsense over there. Talking some Jimmy Jamming. save a dude later. Uh, I don't really care about him though, so I'm not gonna buy it. 
Uh, you know, he's got some weapons. And then he's got some arrows, and he's got those chains set. But I don't really want any of that. So. He has everything. But 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 if you don't buy anything and you leave, he gets he gets he gets sassy. Listen, you want to know why? Because everything's for sale. Everything. Damn. Wow. Is that how you talk to all your customers, bro? But yes, everything is for sale. And if you kill him, he gives you a nice. Uh, I think he drops that. Yeah, that, that orange guidestone. And he drops a cool katana. Huh. So uh, I guess we'll pick this up next time on Tigon. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye. Bye.